and I was like, what the f this nigga just said? Now, now, Fifth, when you continuously call Puff gay, does that affect no. your relationships in Hollywood? I don't call, no, I don't call, I don't call him gay. I said, let I, me read this, let me read okay, it, Fifth. Read. Oh my God. Sorry, I can no longer help you. 50 Cent has all the, Diddy's got some dirt, and he's not shy about airing it out. Imagine this, it's the early 2000s, a time filled with bling, scandals, and hip-hop royalty. And right in the heart of it all, the one and only scene Diddy comes. He's living large, raking in cash, and mingling with the biggest names in the game. But behind the glitz and glamour, there's a whole other story brewing. If you thought Diddy's life was wild before, get ready for it to hit a whole new level. We're talking swirling rumors, lawsuits flying left and right. And now, 50 Cent has some juicy details about Diddy's connections with certain famous rappers. Yep, Meek Mill is just one of the names in the mix. And there's more. Revenge videos are leaking, turning this whole saga into a never-ending roller coaster ride. But what's the real story behind Diddy and his rap buddies? Is there more to their relationship than meets the eye? Diddy's been making headlines, and not the flattering kind. You know how 50 Cent's been calling out Diddy's shady behavior for ages. Well, it seems like he might have been onto something. Rumor has it there's a list floating around detailing Diddy's questionable dealings with celebrity rappers. That's right, whispers of shady deals with young stars like Usher and Beaver are making the rounds. Allegations of sketchy behavior and even explicit encounters have tongues wagging. Now picture this. Usher, the R&B sensation we all know and love, dropping some bombshells during a live stream with Kevin Hart. He straight up admitted that back in the day, when he was around 14, he used to crash at Diddy's place. But wait, it gets even wilder. Usher accidentally let slip something about sleeping with Diddy. Yep, you read that right. It was all fun and games until he tried to backtrack with some no homo talk. Talk about a plot twist that shook the entire music world. Let's rewind a bit. Usher's journey to stardom kicked off when music exec Alea Reed spotted his talent. Next thing you know, he's jetting off to New York City to live it up with none other than Puff Daddy himself. That's right, the man behind Bad Boy Records. This whole setup was called Puffy Flavor Camp, designed to give Usher a taste of the high life in the music industry. Picture Usher stepping into Diddy's world. It was like entering a completely different universe. The glitz, the glamour, the hip hop royalty, it was all right there. Usher had front row seats to the most extravagant parties with champagne flowing like water and the fanciest cars lined up outside. It was like stepping into a scene from a movie, a surreal experience that he witnessed firsthand. And let's not forget the celebrities. Usher was rubbing shoulders not only with the biggest names in music, but also with Hollywood A-listers. But amidst all the hype and glamour, there was some serious drama brewing. 50 Cent wasn't the only one calling out Diddy's antics. Usher had some stories to tell too, and boy, were they juicy. Despite being a young gun, Usher quickly found himself in the mix, like the little bro of hip hop legends getting schooled in the game. Living with Diddy was like being part of an exclusive club where Usher got to spread his wings and explore his musical talents. It wasn't just crashing at Diddy's pad, it was like being part of the family. Diddy played the role of mentor, giving Usher the freedom to find his sound and soak up the fame scene. But it wasn't all glitz and glam. Usher saw the not so pretty side of fame too. Despite the lit vibes at Diddy's parties, Usher found his chill zone in the music. Late night jam sessions, creative collabs, and endless inspiration kept his passion alive through the madness. He stayed grateful for the lessons learned at Puffy Flavor Camp. It was like his coming of age story, both personally and professionally, setting the stage for his epic career.
But behind the glitz and glam, Usher saw some real stuff. He spilled the beans on Howard Stern, talking about Diddy's lax mentor approach and the shock when Diddy went MIA after Usher's debut album didn't blow up. And here's the tea. Usher spilled it that he wouldn't let his own kids near those wild parties. In a chat with Howard Stern, he straight up said hell no to this sending his mini to puppy camp at 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puppy camp? Hell no. I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? For sending New you over to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor Camp. Yeah, that's what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see... The now, let's talk about Fabulous the Brooklyn rapper with stories for days. Dude went on IG and spilled about sneaking out of Diddy Shendix. He even ghosted on Diddy once, dipping out while the party was still raging at 7 o'clock in the morning. Fans were shook. But here's the plot twist. Diddy's parties aren't for everyone. Just ask 50 Cent, who straight up said he felt uncomfortable AF at one of them. Other celebs have hinted at some shady stuff going down at Diddy's bashes. With all this chatter, you've got to wonder what really goes on behind those velvet ropes. While some found 50 Cent's blunt honesty hilarious, the start of the Drink Champs podcast hinted that Diddy was there to have a good time. His charm was on full blast, cracking jokes and sharing stories. But as the night wore on, things got a bit wild. Diddy went from calling the host daddy to going off on unexpected tangents. It was like watching a train veer off the tracks, yeah. I like that too. The once lively interview turned into a hot mess as the host tried to steer things back. But Diddy's drunken antics were hard to ignore. It left everyone feeling awkward and uneasy, as if Diddy had let slip his true self. It's like 50 Cent and Diddy are in a never-ending beef, and things are heating up big time. Rumor has it that 50 Cent is cooking up a documentary all about Diddy's legal troubles. And you know 50 Cent, he's not one to hold back. Just recently, 50 Cent hopped on Instagram to clown Diddy about allegedly going all Hulk smash on his son's football coach with kettlebells. Yep, you heard that right. Despite their history, 50 Cent couldn't resist sharing his two cents on social media. And guess what? A bunch of people online are totally backing 50 Cent's play, especially with Diddy under the microscope for those allegations. While Diddy's sticking to his story, 50 Cent's on a mission to dig up some evidence to back up those court claims. Now let's talk about that lawsuit settlement between Diddy and Cassie. 50 Cent wasted no time chiming in on Instagram, suggesting that Diddy coughed up some serious cash to make it all go away, then deleted the receipts. Cassie took Diddy to court, accusing him of all sorts of stuff like physical abuse and drug use. Even though Diddy's legal team tried to shut it down, the lawsuit got dropped and they settled out of court. But the deets on that settlement are still a big old mystery. Now there's buzz about Justin Bieber and the time he spent with Diddy. Bieber's rise to fame was crazy fast, but his time with Diddy might have been a turning point. Diddy's known for helping young talent, but there's a darker side to his reputation. So what could have happened between them? And then there's the mystery of the 48 hours Bieber supposedly spent with Diddy as a teen. And then Jean's there, watching it all unfold like a real-life soap opera. But then Joe Rule drops a bomb, warning Jen not to peek behind closed doors. The dude says, yo, I'm here for my cousin. I asked, who's your cousin? He said, ja. I replied, well, he's busy right now. He said, busy doing what? I said, they're in the room, they're busy they don't want to be bothered. He said, well, I'm going in there. I said, 
Bro, you ain't going in there, cause he told me they don't want nobody bothering them. He was like, yo, I don't care, man. I'm going in there. That bold. I said, yo, bro, Jesus Christ had to come down here and take the air out of my body before you get in that room right there. Watch, watch. He tried to bum rush me. I grabbed him and threw him against the piano. When I threw him into the piano, Puff and Ja Rule ran out of the room. Puff was holding his toe, and Ja Rule was grabbing his toe. I saw it, and it was, and it was, <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. Was so nobody tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say you that. Didn't. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh-huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was there. Biggie Smalls was there, Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. You all know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man, Faith Evans, Joe. It might just be gossip trying to drag Diddy down, but let's keep it real, y'all. Without solid proof, it's all just hearsay. 50 Cent is also talking about how French Montana allegedly went shopping. If you catch my drift, not just with Diddy, but with Drake too. The rumor mill has been churning for ages saying French might be more than just pals with these hip-hop heavyweights. Let's break it down. French and Diddy are tight as can be. They've been jet-setting together, hitting up exotic locales like it's nobody's business. And then there's this pic that's been making the rounds. At first glance, it's all innocent, just a couple of pros hanging out. But zoom in and things start looking mighty cozy between Diddy and French. But wait, there's more. Diddy even went ahead and named a flavor of his vodka after French. Smooth move, right? And they've been celebrating birthdays together, serenading each other like it's a scene straight out of a rom-com. But it doesn't end there. Drake swoops in on the scene, teaming up with Diddy to executive produce French's documentary. Coincidence? Maybe. But word on the street is all these favors Diddy and Drake did for French came with some serious strings attached. And what's the price of admission? Well, let's just say it involves some late night shenanigans. Now 50 stirring the pot even more, hinting that French might be more than just a friend to Diddy and Drake. He's dropping hints about some wild parties and some even wilder allegations about French being the bottom of the totem pole if you catch my drift. Following his Instagram post of a shirtless photo in a boxing stance, 50 Cent responded to a comment from one of his followers. The comment read, you should hook up with French Montana, 50. To which 50 replied, what the heck did you just say? Nothing, man. I'm not into all that wild stuff. What do you think? I'm like puffy or something. But before you jump to conclusions, let's rewind a bit. French's rise to fame is straight out of a movie. Born in Morocco, he hustled his way up from the streets of the South Bronx to signing with Bad Boy Records. Diddy saw something special in him, but instead of focusing on his music, they're jet-setting and living it up. And then there's the shady stuff. Multiple women have come forward with some serious accusations against French from assault to drugging allegations. It's a whole mess. And when Diddy and Drake come into the picture, things get even murkier. Rumors of feuds turn into whispers of behind the scenes drama over their alleged boy toy. Right around the release of French's documentary, fans couldn't help but notice something fishy. French started rocking a whole new look that seemed suspiciously similar to Drake's vibe. And when a photo of Drake gazing into French's eyes went viral, some fans started speculating that Diddy might be sharing French with Drake. Now let's rewind a bit. Remember when D. Bobby spilled the beans? I mean, imagine being at this star-studded bash rubbing elbows with the elite, only to have things get awkward real quick. And it's not just a baby, Diddy's been known to cozy up to young artists. Before now, if you've been keeping tabs on the music scene, you might not be all that shocked Diddy's got a bit of a history cozying up to pandcomers, 
playing the mentor role like he did with JG, but what really goes? Down behind closed doors, that's the question fans have been asking, especially after Usher hinted, at some sketchy stuff going on at Diddy's place Gina Hoon, a model who used to date Diddy came forward with some serious allegations from violence to shady deals. Writes is just the tip of the iceberg me and Puff was like I felt like I did more than I got credit for more than I got got paid for you felt. Or did you do that um cause you said felt like feeling okay. Let's clear that up you saying you feeling that but we going to keep it we. I'm cause I'm trying to be nice. I never got paid what I was worth and I never got the respect ours work in the middle of all this drama Diddy's rep is taking a nosedive, he used to be a big deal in the music scene, but now he's getting slammed with all kinds of accusations that are wrecking his image from wild stories to shady business stuff Diddy's journey, from hero zero to zero, has been a total whirlwind. As for what's next, well, who knows, if 50 Cent's going to team up with Usher and Mace to put the brakes on Diddy's career, like they hinted at if you like this video, make sure to watch the next one.